In his recent video, Ali, Dawa Films, presented an interesting argument. Interesting in the sense of how, how much of a slight of phrase he employed in this particular argument. His argument basically boiled down to claiming that it was valid for him to trust his intuitive understanding of reality being that some form of agency was responsible for reality and he calls this agents this agent that he claims is responsible for reality God and calls it supernatural and other such nonsense but he then proceeded to make the claim that this intuition of his was rational and in actual fact it would be irrational to question this intuition and to ask for evidence for this God thing that he believes in and he then made the very interesting observation the very tricky observation that our assertion that we would need evidence in order to believe in his God is itself based on an intuitive understanding of reality and in a way that seems to be quite tempting, quite compelling as an argument except of course he has pulled a fast one here and let me show you how he has pulled a fast one by simply illustrating something to you. You see, we grow up as earthbound earth creatures. We are pretty much stuck to the surface of this planet, crawling around on the surface of this planet, and with that reality come a number of intuitions that are in fact not correct. For example, intuitively, we would understand that an object would tend to come to rest unless it is being pushed by something, an agent for example. That is an intuitive reality if you're stuck to the surface of a planet. Every time you, you push an inanimate object it tends to come to a halt again once you stop pushing it and so on and so forth. Let me show you, for example, this bit of intuitive understanding. Now, I've got two objects in my hand here. This is a piece of paper. This is a remote control. And I can feel, as a result of gravity, that this object is quite heavy. So, in other words, I know that if I, by accident or otherwise, would let go of this object, it would fall to the ground rather quickly and there would be no chance of me retrieving it if I lost my grip on the object. So I would be very keen to hold on tight to this object if I were keen on not letting it drop. This on the other hand feels extremely light so I know that if for whatever reason I lose my grip I can catch it because it floats down slowly. And this leads to an intuitive understanding of reality in which we think that lighter objects tend to fall slower than faster objects. And by and large, in normal circumstances, there is an element of truth to it. But, guess what happened a few years ago out in space? An astronaut, Heide something or other, and I'll look up the name for you, was working on the space station. And she was doing some repairs on it with her $100,000 worth of tool bag. And a little accident happened. Uh, a grease gun exploded or something like that. And of course, a natural reaction to that would be to clean yourself up a little bit. She was holding her tool, tool bag. And in the zero gravity environment that she was in, there was no sense of weight on our tool bag. So the point came where, as she was reacting to the, to the oil spill over her, she, just for a short moment of time, 
let go of a tool bag. But it is important to understand what happened here. You see, she was working on autopilot at the time. She was responding in an instinctive, intuitive way to the situation. And her intuitive response to the situation was to acknowledge that the weight of the tool bag in our hand was ne negligible and therefore it was quite okay to let go of it for just a moment while she was cleaning herself up. But of course in the zero gravity environment that she was in the tool bag had a certain amount of speed and nothing was going to stop it because that is what the laws of motion that Newton came up with will tell us. Um, an object that is traveling with a certain velocity will remain traveling in at that velocity unless a force acts on it. So in the short time that it took her to just let go of her tool bag for that little time and clean herself up, it had floated just out of reach. And all she could do is look aghast at her $100,000 worth of tools floating away from her without any possibility of retrieval. Her intuition let her down. And this is where I get back to what Ali was saying, because the reality that that tool bag was irretrievably lost was not contingent on any intuition. She could quite easily verify that her arm was not long enough to get to her bag. And that is what Ali has tried to very deftly sweep under the carpet in his latest video. You see, in order to disqualify, to reject an intuitive understanding of reality, you do not need to make an intuitive assumption. You can simply observe what actually happens in reality. And sometimes it is abundantly clear that your intuition was wrong, as Heidi Watts of Face found out at her cost. Now I am not saying that this applies to the specific intuit intuitive understanding that Ali is talking about, but it could. And that is the crux of the matter. You see, Ali, we are going back to the basic problem here. You believe in this agency that is responsible for reality. You believe in your so-called God. And in all fairness, I couldn't care less whether you do or don't. As I explained to you in a comment on your video, I only start caring about your belief in your God if you see it as a justification for condemning people. But all the same, if you are then entering into this type of a debate and you start claiming that you can hold your belief and you don't owe anybody an explanation or you don't need to justify it, well, this is a little bit different because in the context of this debate, if you are going to start talking about burdens of proof and so on and so forth, I'm afraid you cannot reject this responsibility, my friend. You are making this claim. You are making the claim that something out there, supernatural and so on, is responsible for reality. And if you want people to believe that, just like you do, then you will need to come up with a convincing argument that will show us that you're right. What you present, presented just there was no such thing. Sorry.